Okay, understand the climate. Um, so this is fairly straightforward. It gets very, very intense very quickly. I'm just gonna to touch on it just to remind you of a couple of specific issues. One is when somebody's talking about climate, anything like rain, snow, sun, uh, um, wind, um, anything like that, you can break that down into two basic ideas. One is the micro and one is the macro. So the macro climate is the big picture. What's happening regionally? So I can talk about how much rain uh, we get here in Chicago or where we, how much we get in Tucson or how much we get in Seattle. And those are things I can look up and we can find out, we can say, all right, in this region, the annual rainfall is roughly this. That might be useful to know. Am I, uh, do I need to put uh, covers on uh, the patio spaces? Do I, uh, do I need to have uh, really big gutters or can I go with small gutters? Um, a lot of design decisions that start becoming important about kind of understanding that. Snow, am I worried about snow accumulation and structure and how that works? Um, uh, uh, you know, I can look that up in, in very uh, clear ways. The idea of microclimate, though, is, well, that's great. I can look up that about wind, about snow, about sun, and, uh, and have that sort of general information. But at the micro level, meaning on the site, uh, you know, we might be able to talk about a certain number of solar hours that uh, you get if you're building a building in Indianapolis that, you know, Indianapolis across the span of a year will get, you know, X number of, you know, thousand uh, uh, hours of sunlight averaged uh, every year. You can, you can find that number and know that how that's generally going to work. That's a, that's a very useful thing, but it's not useful at all if there's a tall building next to you that's shading the site all the time. That's a microclimate issue. So there's certain things I can learn from the macro climate and there's certain things I have to look at from the micro climate. Uh, if I'm putting up a, um, a uh, uh, wind turbine uh, to generate electricity, uh, I would definitely want to understand what the macro climate wind directions are. So like, is this a place where I have a consistent wind in a consistent direction? That's great. But if I put that then in a, an urban setting where there's a lot of turbulence because there's a lot of buildings, it's going to be meaningless. I'm not going to get, it's not going to work. I'm going to have to use a different kind of turbine um, that isn't monodirectional, right? So both of those issues, micro and macro, very important. You should definitely understand those things. Blackspectacles.com is the home of online learning for architecture and design. You can go to blackspectacles.com, kind of get a taste of this online ARE prep curriculum we built with AI Chicago and Mike, covering all seven sections of the exam. And there are free tutorials in every one of those courses. As a part of today's session, you're eligible for coupon codes for your ARE membership. 15% off the monthly membership and 30% off an annual membership all through the end of the month. And we're doing group memberships. So if you want to get one for your firm or you want your firm to buy one for you, you can go to blackspectacles.com slash business or just email me. We're running a promotion again where business memberships are 15% off as well. Our next webinar is going to be different. What we're going to do is we're going to sort of have a no holds barred Q&A session with Mike. It's not specific to an exam. Whatever exam you're working on, you have a question, you've tried to solve a vignette and you don't like your answer, you're unsure about your answer, put it in a PDF and email it to me. And what we'll do is we're just going to take them first come first serve and everyone who submits them will take an hour and Mike will answer them one after the other. So it'll be a cool event because if you actually have a question, you can get a real answer. And if you just want to see what other people are kind of wrestling with, it'd be a great way to learn from other people's questions and problems and so on. And that's going to be on April 22nd.